You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing incidents like this. When it comes to unarmed black men and women being murdered by police. I'm getting tired of this. Um, Peace family. This is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Um, this article comes from the independent.uk. Um, a rapper, his real name is Willie McCoy. Um, and for those of you who lives in, the, in California, he's a rapper. The, his rap name is Willie, uh, really, Willie Bo. Um, he was shot dead by six police officers at a Taco Bell when he was sleeping in his car. Are you serious? So I'm going to go ahead and read this article and then I'm going to talk about it because this to me is the, is a perfect example of why Colin Kaepernick took a knee for police brutality. This incident right here um, is really disturbing. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It says, young rapper shot dead by police as he slept in his car while was not threatening officers as they claim his family has insisted. Police has confirmed the identity of the young man they shot in a parking lot of a Taco Bell fast food restaurant as 21-year-old Willie McCoy, who was known as Willie Bo and performed with the group FBG. I was going to wait until um, this article comes up. Um, what you're seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is not surprising, and it's a pattern of being murdered. Um, and th again, this is so sad and, 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 and basically not surprising. I'm going to continue reading this. It says officers in Vallejo, California said they had gone there after a restaurant staff called 911 to report seeing a person slump over the seat of a silver Mercedes. Hmm. Here we go again. Calling 911. Of a suspicious person sleeping in his own car. Unbelievable. In a statement, the Vallejo Police Department says, as officers approached the vehicle, the driver began to suddenly move and look at the uniformed patrol officers. Officers gave the driver several commands to put his hands up. The driver did not comply, and instead he quickly moved his hand downward for the, fi for, for the firearm. It says on Saturday's incident, fearing for their safety, six officers fired their duty weapons at the driver. Ladies and gentlemen, um, and I'm, you know, this is what I'm talking about, that there's been talk that um, he really didn't have a gun. He was basically minding his own business. He was sleeping in his own car. And unfortunately, here we go again. People call 911. So I'm, I'm still waiting for this um, article to come up. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of this. You know, it's funny that police officers can really, you know, saying that he, he feel, he, they fear, and remember I told you on my previous video, I fear for my life. And obviously, they use the same, um, the, the same talking point when they fear for their life, but at the same time, he was no threat at all. And it continues to say that the family of the young man has disputed the account of the police claiming what happened is just the latest example of young black men being shot and, and killed by police without justification. Um, and this is David Harrison, um, who was, um, you know, um, was just McCoy's cousin said is a really big loss, really, really unexpected. Um, and I'm continue reading this. And he says that there, there's a lot of grieving going on, trying to make sense of this thing. The newspaper said a semi-automatic handgun recovered at the scene has been reported stolen in Oregon and was fully functional when officers found it, according to police. Um, and, it said, and it says it was unknown how McCoy obtained the firearm. Mr. Harrison later posted a video on Facebook in which he said, you can't just keep killing us in the streets like this. My cousin was asleep in a car and they shot him 20 times. 
Another cousin, Levante Cole, told KTVU TV, Willie was a good person. He didn't deserve that. I have no words for the Vallejo police. They supposed to protect and serve. They not supposed to shoot to kill. At Independent, no one tells us what to write. That's why in an era of political lies and Brexit bias. Well, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a just stop right there. And I think this that was the article. You know, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. And I'm going to go ahead and play the cousin of the victim who was gunned down by police. The latest shootings of police. And they said he had a gun um, that was stolen in Oregon. But you don't even know that the gun, he probably purchased the gun and didn't know it was stolen. See, all these stories is coming now protecting the police. Um, this is so sad, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to go ahead and play David Harrison, who is the cousin of the victim that was gunned down by police. And again, it, a reaction will not allow to show you the video. However, you will hear the audio of this man speaking about his cousin. So here it is. Yeah, so going live this morning. I want to talk to all of these kids out here, man. The police. I know y'all think that don't nobody love y'all. Don't nobody care about y'all. But the reason why your parents are hard on you is because they want you to live. Man, I lost my baby cousin last night. <laughs> he was only 21 years old, okay? Now let me tell you something. When your parents tell you don't do this or don't do that, it's not because they don't want you to have no fucking fun. <laughs> Because they want to save your fucking life. <laughs> the police is not your fucking friend. They not there to serve and protect. They have to control and patrol, man. They want to control you. But you can't want to control you because you can't control yourself. You got to control yourself. You got to listen to your parents. <sighs> Listen to your parents. They know better whether you right or whether you wrong. You got to know. You got to listen. You got to honor your parents, man. It ain't for them. It's for you so that your days will be long. And your days are short. You know why your days are short? Because you didn't listen to your fucking parents and learn and study to show yourself approved. You look at your parents. Yeah, they ain't perfect. But guess what? They not perfect. But you get to see their imperfections so that you can make their imperfection your perfection, you dumb motherfuckers. So wake your fucking game up. I don't want no other parents or no other kids' parents to go through this ever again. But it's going to continue to happen until we make these motherfuckers pay. They got to pay for this shit. This shit ain't free. Can't just keep killing us in the street like this. My little cousin was asleep in the car. They shot him 20 motherfucking times in a motherfucking car sleep. <laughs> and parents, don't provoke your children. I know they don't got no good sense because they ain't got no motherfucking good sense. They got all these exotic drugs and shit up out here. You understand what I'm saying? So let me tell you something. Keep them. I know they ain't perfect. I know they don't listen. I know these motherfuckers trying to figure it out. But you got to be there to guide them. You got to hold their hand on some shit. And I know you shouldn't have to hold your hand of a grown motherfucking man. But sometimes we got to do it. It take a village. We at war. Do you understand that? We are at war. And your brother and your sister is not your enemy. It's these motherfucking pigs is your fucking enemy. Okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the cousin of um, David Harrison, who, you know, as you know, that 
that, 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 that her cousin was, they found out that Willie McCoy was killed by police. Shot him 20 times. Obviously, now the police version, they're going to say, well, guess what? I fear for my life. There's a gun in the car and it's been stolen from Oregon. And we don't even know if he basically, even if he did have a gun in the car, hypothetical, we don't even know if he bought the gun in the streets or he bought the gun somewhere else and had no idea that the gun was stolen. You never know. But see, that, that's what I'm saying about police officers. They will do anything to protect their own. And they use the police unions to do their dirty work. I told y'all before that these, pol these, these police unions is a problem. Because as long as they got their back, defending these officers, they're gonna still going to continue doing what they're doing. And I'm not saying all cops are bad. I'm not saying that because there's some cops that are really nice, and I, I, I met, and I met some of them. They're, they're, they're the most coolest people in the world. But you have to understand as well that there are some dirty cops that like to plant evidence. They like to shoot people and act like, well, I fear for my life. They use the same talking points. And we really don't know why the young man, should the young man had a, had a gun that night? No, but we really don't know why he had that gun that night. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand, too, that we, I mean, honestly, we're in trouble. Um, we need to watch our backs and fronts or whatever. This is why Colin Kaepernick took a knee. He took a knee to fight against police brutality, to fight against racial injustice because of incidents like this. And obviously they took that. Colin Kaepernick situation as a joke. This ain't no joke around here. This is real life. He is only 20, he was 21 years old. A rapper, an up and coming rapper. And then all of a sudden they're going to say, well, uh, uh, he shouldn't have had a gun. He should. We don't even know why he had a gun that night. Maybe he, maybe he had a gun for protection. You don't know. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Incidents after incidents after incidents, there's always something going down. And see, this is why people are scared of police and a lot of, especially in the black community, because we don't know what these cops are about to do. So my thoughts and prayers goes to the McCoy family, because again, it's another case of, of, a, of a brother shot and killed by police. All because he was sleeping in his own Mercedes, sleeping in his own car. It ain't like he stole the car. He was sleeping in his own car. And some babble acts called 911. You kidding me? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Johnson channel for all the news and commentary. But that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.